Hello everyone. You have probably noticed by now that the flares made by the spin flaring tools have a slightly different angle than the ones made by conventional tools. There is a reason for it. It was meant this way so the flare can adapt itself to the nut and the valve, reaching its final form when you tighten it up. How? Spin flaring tools use heat by friction to form flares while preserving the copper's malleability so the flare doesn't crack and provides better sealing. Preserving the copper's malleability has yet another role in spin flaring though. When you use the spin flaring tool to make a flare, in a first step, it is going to deliver an approximate 40 degree flare. That is half the job done. The next step is to tighten up the fitting. And that's where the best part of making flares with a spin flaring tool is going to happen. What is happening while you screw it? Check it out. While you seal the joint by coupling it tight, the still malleable copper will adapt itself in the space between the valve and the internal face of the nut. By deforming to its final angle and covering any angle span between 36 and 47 degrees. So it delivers a greater area of contact between the parts, providing a better sealing and ensuring a crack-free flare, thanks to the copper's recrystallization process it went through when the tube's tip was heated by the spin's rotation. So within a few seconds, there's a lot of things happening to ensure that you get not only a 45 degree standard flare, but a flare that will adapt to any nut between 36 and 47 degrees, providing a perfect sealing always. That's it. Thank you for watching.